Hello, I'm David Sparks. I use drafts every day to get my work done. And I wanted to show you a couple quick workflows with drafts. The first is how to send an email. So here I am on my iPhone with some of the drafts widgets, but I've also got the drafts app down in the dock. I'm just going to go ahead and tap on that. And you'll see the thing I love most about drafts is when you open it, it's just ready to go. You don't have to create a new file or do anything silly. The screen is ready. You can start typing. In this case, however, I'm not going to type. I'm going to use voice dictation to prepare an email. I'll go ahead and hit the microphone button in the lower right corner and start talking. Carrot recipe, new line. Dear Greg, comma, new line. Thanks again for having me over, period. I woke up this morning thinking about those delicious spicy carrots you gave me, period. They were real flamethrowers, period. Can you please share that recipe, question mark? New paragraph, your pal, comma, new line, David. And that's just one of the ways you can capture text with drafts. I could have also typed it in if I wanted. One of the things I love about drafts is that it exists on the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. So let's go ahead and edit this text over on the Mac version. All right, here I am over on the Mac, and you can see that drafts has already synced over the text that I just dictated over on the iPhone. Uh, since I'm on the Mac, I can go ahead and make some edits to it. I'm going to change the recipe to a capital because the first line when I export this as email is going to turn this into the subject line. And when I think about it longer, I'm going to share my carrot recipe with Greg. So I'm going to say, here is my current recipe. And then I'm going to put a link in there. So I'm just going to select that text. Then I'll hit command K, which allows me to paste in the link that I have from a website that gave me my current carrot recipe. As you can see, it's really easy to work with your drafts on any Apple platform. Now let's move this over to the iPad. Here I am in drafts on the iPad. All I'm going to do now is send this as an email. So I'm going to hit the actions button and you can see I've got an mail action right here with this green icon. I'm going to go ahead and make a quick edit to this action. What I'm going to do is say when I finish and send the email to send the text to the archive, and I'm going to add a tag and we'll call the tag email. And I'll save that. Now if I hit the mail button, it's going to open up an email to send the email for me. Now I've inserted my friend Greg's email address in and I'm just going to hit the send button. Once I did that, it sent the email and archived the text. So if I go back over here and I look at my archive, you can see there it is. And it has the email tag applied. Now, normally you wouldn't write an email about spicy carrots on all three of your Apple devices, but I wanted to show you how drafts can work between all three of them. I use that workflow when I'm writing long emails, but for short ones, you can do it all on one device. There's a lot of advantages to writing your email in drafts. Doing so, you can immediately capture the text so you don't have to monkey around with setting up a new email message. Drafts has better voice-to-text support so you can dictate your email, as you can see that I did here. Another thing I love about it is you never see the inbox, so you never get that inbox distraction where you open your mail app and suddenly you're off to the races with some other email that just came in. For me, using drafts to write email is the shortest path from idea to action and anytime I can do that, I love it. However, you don't have to use this workflow just to send email. You could just as easily take that text and send it as a text message. The beauty of drafts is you can quickly capture that text and use it anywhere on your device.